The potential anti-cancer activity of 5 fluororacyl loaded in cellulose fibers isolated from rice straw. Hosted by Mustafa Yousefi, Kamyar Shamili, Hossein Jahangirian, Sin Ying Tu, Hiroshi Omakoshi, Baram Saleh, Roshan Grafi Mugadam, and Thomas J. Webster. By cooperation between Malaysia, Japan International Institute of Technology, University of Technology Malaysia, Northeastern University Boston, USA, Sunway University Malaysia, and Osaka University in Japan. Plant-based cellulose fiber is one of the unique organic polymers on Earth with advantages such as high porosity and large surface-to-volume ratios. As advantages of this project are using rice jar as the second highest agro-waste and an eco-friendly method of alkali treatment to produce cellulose fibers. For this project, therefore, rice straw-based cellulose fibers serve as an anti-cancer drug carrier of 5-FU for MTS and vitro assays using human colorectal and nasopharyngeal cell lines. Results of XRD and FTIR indicate that the unwanted components such as lignin and lipids were gradually removed from RS by the alkali treatments to isolate cellulose fibers with high purity and crystallinity. SEM results show that the cellulose fibers are mostly in rod-shaped structures. EDX results of cellulose fibers 5-FU display adequate amounts of fluorine from 5-FU. The treated CF showed an almost fourfold increase in the surface area and zeta potential of up to negative 33.61 MV. For drug loading on cellulose fibers, encapsulation efficiency is estimated to be 83% and a maximum drug release of 79% and 46% were in the release media at pH 7.4 and 1.2, respectively. In vitro cytotoxicity assays, cellulose fibers display high biocompatibility, while cellulose fibers loaded with 5 fluororacyl indicate great elimination against colon and nasopharyngeal cancer cells and only minor damage for the normal cells. Thank you very much.